Alliance, Manny Vega with the Baga team from Royal LePage Neralta. And this is Del Sikam from the Baga team at Royal LePage Neralta. Well, welcome. We are starting a brand new series. We have a 10 tips for all the buyers who's buying in the market and I have 10 heroes they're gonna answer back to them. Whatever their best tips or whatever their best secret they have it ongoing, every week we're gonna post a one video with a one half hour superhero so you can get the benefit out of that. Today, the number one question we can ask from Dil Sekhan, so Dil, tell us what is the one best advice you can give it to a buyers before they buy the home? Perfect. Thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to talk to my clients about the 10 tips. Uh, the tip that I'm bringing actually for everybody out today is one of the most important factors before you even consider purchasing a home is your credit score. We'll be talking about credit score and how important it is in purchasing a home. Uh, credit score, as you know, is one of the biggest factors you need initially to get qualified for your mortgage. I want to share some tips with my clients how they can improve their credit score to get better interest rates or to get qualified for their mortgage. Uh, for their mortgage. So, well, so sorry, I'm interrupting you. So, credit score. Correct me. So, if you buy a a home today, what is the credit score they acquired by the bank? So, right now, anybody could get qualified for a mortgage if their credit score is over 650. Mm -hmm. But it depends on multiple factors. Again, if they have any late payments, if they have any debt payments, on, if they any, if there's anything on the collection. So, there's multiple factors that comes in to when it comes to a credit score. Okay. So, you're, what you're trying to say to me is, Manny, if anybody is watching this video, if their credit score is over 650 which is good but it depends on their their loan their debt or their basically tds or gts correct that is, correct. That is important but this is giving you a advice if you are below 650 how to improve it am i right that is correct okay so so, so let's, let's let's move on so this is a tip for everybody your first home second home third point your investor it's for everybody uh the first step is whenever you plan to buy a home next year six months down the road is first thing you gotta look at it is your credit Credit score it could be at 650 700 whatever it is the more the credit the better it is for you because the more the credit you can get it under less interest rate the tip for you is always make sure you do not make any late payments or get under collection minimum a year and a half before you decide to buy a home make sure there's no late payment no 30 days payment you do not miss any payment a year and a half before you even decide to purchase a home that's the first tip for my buyers on on the credit so it means what you're trying to say to me that any, like even a phone bill or visa bill or a utility bill. So anything, all those bills, the people that are watching, they need to know the bill has to be paid on time. Am I right now? That is correct. It could be a $5 bill, it could be a 10, it could be a $1,000 bill. Make sure there is no missed payments on the bill. Okay. That's the first tip. The second, and which is actually very important and a lot of people don't know about is credit utilization. Mm -hmm. How credit utilization works is uh, for example let's say you have a total debt from different bank or everywhere of about a thousand dollars that includes your credit card your line of credit your car let's say you have a total loan of a thousand dollars at any given point when you're deciding to purchase a home make sure your total credit utilization stays under 50 percent or very close to 50 percent I'll explain a little bit on that well, how, how that works is let's say you have a thousand dollars loan from your car visa everything make sure at any given point you do not use more than five hundred dollars out of that make sure you always are under 50 percent of utilization of your credit at any given point at least a year or a six months before you decide to buy a home so so what are you trying to say to me that manny number one your car payment your visa payment or mastercard payment or any store credit card or any single thing all those payment combined in together should not be more than 50 percent of your total credit utilization is that, that correct that is correct yeah any any amount of loan you have you could have fifty thousand loan you could have hundred thousand line of credit you could have a two hundred thousand line of credit if you're buying a home or if you're looking to purchase a home six months to a year before please make sure you pay off your debt to half the to half of it keep it to 50 percent that's going to help you to achieve your lowest interest rates that's going to give you a better terms and conditions in your mortgage as well and you will have no problem qualifying for a mortgage okay any last tip uh, to improve the credit scoring more than the, the other thing again is make sure you pay your payments on time make sure everything is paid on time i know a lot of people they get scared of when it comes to credit and using credit 
credit cards, make sure you use credit cards as well because that's how it's gonna build your credit as well. Don't get scared not to use your credit. Go ahead, use your visas, credit offline, get a card, but make sure whatever you do, do not mix up payment and make sure your total debt is under 50% and you'll never have a problem ever getting qualified for a mortgage. Well said, that was the best tip I can think I can receive it from you. But just only a small little token, especially the people are in between age of 22 to 28. They're just increasing. They are the best person to neglect. They're too busy. Oh my God, I didn't miss the one payment or two payment. It's kind of harsh on your credit, just like as they'll said that. So people that are watching the first time home buyers, make sure pay those payments or put up on an auto payment for a minimum payment so you don't miss any payment. Am I right? Bill? That is correct. Yeah, and everybody's going to make a mistake when it comes to especially the age of 20 to 30 years old. Talking from personal experiences, you're going to mess up everything, but hey, don't worry about anything. Stay on to your grind, work hard, give it a year, just work everything on basic, work on your credit score. A year after, everything will be fine. So even if you're in a bad situation, your credit is low, nothing's working, don't worry, stay on the focus and everything will work out. Well, if you guys have any more questions related to credit scoring, Dale has so much experience in this, so much knowledge. Give him a call, DM him, he will be answer all your questions. Thank you so much for watching this series. Next week, we will bring you our next tip. If you think that this video is valuable, make sure you subscribe, thumbs up, and share that video. Perfect. Thank you very much, guys. And if you have any questions and if you need any consultancy again, regarding your uh, credit score, feel free to give me a call at 780-301-0101. Thank you very much.